Hi you guys, it is your girl Pretty Girl Peeps and I'm here to do a quick hair tutorial. Let me just make sure that's sticky. I'm here to do a quick hair tutorial on some hair that I was gifted by Outre. Um, if you haven't figured it out by now, Outre is one of my favorite hair brands. Um, so they came out with a couple of different new textures for the summertime. So um, one of the things that they expanded on is their big, beautiful hair. So this is the hair that they sent me. This is what it looks like. This is the 4A Kinky Coily, and they sent it in the color Natural Brown, and it comes with nine pieces. So there's a 12-inch weft, a 10-inch weft, there's um, two 8-inch wefts, um, three 7, uh, one 5, and three, and four 3-inch um, wefts. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my hair. Um, thank you so much, Outre, for sending this. So my hair is already freshly washed and my hair is about a 3B, 4A anyway. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of this Love A Lot Of Body, a little bit of this Twist Me Curl Styling product on my hair just to give it a little bit of moisture because I slept on it last night. So I'm literally going to put the smallest amount I can on my hair just to give it a little bit of shine and a little bit of juice. Cause I'm not I'm not a braider. If you've watched any of my videos, I do not do the whole braiding thing. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on because it looks still just a little bit dry. Not a braider. So what I'm gonna do is just put this with my hair, and it's actually just going to make my hair even bigger. So what we'll do is we'll actually just go ahead and get started on this style. It's just gonna require a lot of parting and a lot of figuring out which. Um, which weft goes with what so i'm just going to go ahead and take it out of the packet so let me take the protective skin off of the packet packet off of the hair uh, for you guys to see and this is going to be more of a light detailed review so this is what it looks like once it's out of the pack the texture is super duper pretty um and then you just pick the the size tracks that you want um, as you see them in here and I should have probably started taking these uh, little clips off before I started the video but that's neither here nor there um, just want to take my time with this video so I don't mess anything up and like I said there's nine pieces so you should be able to get a full head of hair with this um, I have a smaller head, so I probably won't use all nine pieces. I'm assuming I'll use maybe seven, seven or eight pieces to achieve a full look. I don't really know what look I'm going to go for until this is finished, but we're just going to go for it and try to do a really quick style. Um, I just took my passion twist down and I washed my hair yesterday to kind of get my natural state so the curls will be as close to this texture as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the hair off of the um, the little weft thingies so I can shake it down. So these are the different wefts, the different sizes. So I'm going to just go ahead and get my parting comb and some clips and we're just going to get started. So of course you always want to part in the back first. So I'm going to take the pointy end of the comb and I suck at parting but here goes nothing. Going to take the back end of the comb and just start going across the back. Hey babe. Going to go across the back, pull out a little hair and whatever is left I'm going to just pin up like so. Just going to pin this up into my head. And I think for this one, I want to use a five inch weft. So I'm just going to pin this up and I probably need another hair clip. So getting another hair clip. So this is where I have it parted again. I suck at parting. So if it's a little off, that's why, because parting is not my thing. I am having a little girl, so I need to figure out this whole parting thing. Um, so I'm going to find the five inch weft in here. You too, love you. And the hair is pretty textured. This is what the hair looks like, pretty textured. And I'm just going to take my scissors 
have my little salon scissors. Now take my salon scissors and just cut the little tag off, the little weft tag, so I can uh, move on with the process. And the clips, if you've never used clips before, you just pop open, they pop open, pop close, pop open, pop close. So I'm gonna pop them open. And what you do is you're gonna take them and you're gonna apply one, you're gonna apply it at the root of the part. You're gonna clip down, then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just apply it at the root of where you parted it and clip it down. So this is what they look like, just freshly clipped down. Probably gonna have to fluff them out a little bit to get those curls really, really going. But upon first glance, this is what it, it looks like. And I'm gonna, you know, blend my own hair into it as we go along. So I think the next one that I'm gonna use is a seven. So I'm going to part from ear to ear. I'm gonna to try to keep these close since I'm not doing braids. If I was doing braids, then I could, um, you know, probably do them even further apart or even, you know, wider scope, wider look. So right now I'm just parting some more of this hair down. Just a tiny bit of my natural hair to go over this hair, part it down like so. And now I'm going to take the seven inch. I think there's only one seven inch. So I'm gonna take the seven inch. I'm gonna also cut the tag off of this one. So um, this one of course has more clips. I'm just gonna kind of stretch it out, fluff it out before I put them in, pop each one. And hopefully you guys can see the back of my head. So I'm gonna start all the way over here by the ear, pop that first one in, pop that second one in the middle, and then pop the last one by the other ear. Like so. So now I have two in. So you see it's giving more so like the volume as well. So now is where the parting for me is going to get even trickier. So for the next one, I think I want to do um, a 10 inch, then I'm going to do a 12, then I'll probably do the um, 8 and the 3's closer to the head. So for this one, I'm going to part at the top of the ear, so at the top of the ear, right about there. Actually I think I might be able to do right under the ear. I'm trying to make it again because I... Um, I'm not braiding it, so I want to have, you know, a little bit of coverage for each section. And again, I struggle, struggle with parting my hair. If you really know me, you know this. So you just kind of want to part ear to ear. Like so. So once I've got, I need to part a little bit more on this side. Okay, so once I've got it parted appropriately, I'm going to take it up again and pin it like so. And then this time, like I said, I think I want to try, do I want to skip the, the you know what, I'm going to go with the 8. There's an 8 inch in here. So this is what the 8 inch looks like and it has 4 clips. So we're gonna do the eight this time. Let's get right into it and do the eight. Gonna pop each clip, pop the clips. And I typically pick an ear to start by cause I feel like the ears are just easier to attach. Cause then, and then you know exactly where you're attaching it at. When you attach by the ears. Okay, so this one is a little close to my ear, 
So I'm going to let back this one up just a little bit. I don't want to write right on my ear because that'll be uncomfortable throughout the day. Okay, so now we have another set in and I'm just fluffing it as I go along. Like so, and since that one I had to move it, I'm going to have to move, unfortunately, all of the clips on this line. Just moving them down just a little bit. And that means this ear one is going to go just a little bit closer, like so. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So this is it so far. Just blending it in with my own hair. So the next clip I'm going to use is going to be a 10 then we're going to use the 12. so the 10 has four clips as well the 10 inch and this is me just freestyling it as you can see i'm cutting everything so i've never used this hair before never had these clip-ins before so this is just an off the dome uh, kind of going as I you know kind of parting doing everything as I go along so this one I'm going to take a little bit closer to um, the top of the ear part to part to start parting anyway just going to put a little bit down just going to part around again I suck at parting so if you want to see if it's crispy, it's, I can tell you without, you know, showing too much that it's not crispy. Because <laughs> I'm just not a crispy parter. Never been a crispy parter. Probably never going to be a crispy parter. I mean, I, like I said, I'm about to have a daughter, so I'm going to have to get somewhat crispy at this. Uh, so then just going to take all the additional hair up and just tightly squeeze and clip. So now I got this part down to put the clips and I'm putting them kind of close and that's only because again um, I did not braid it so I want to make sure that you know my hair is blended in enough with the um, with the parts. So I'm going to unclip Oh, and the, this is one of those easy styles like anybody I feel like could do. Because if I can do it, I promise you probably can do it. So then I just normally see which way it clips in. This again is the 10 inch. And then the last one will go about right here. So this is the 10 that's in now. And this one is a little loose. And it's your hair, so you'll kind of figure out how and where you want the clips to go, what's uncomfortable. That's something else. Like you really want to make sure it's, you know, comfortable in your head. Like this one needs to go up a little higher because it's right by my ear so this is what the hair looks like so far and this one is I think I want to put it up just maybe a hair because it's going to keep bothering me there we go okay so the next one that I'm going to put in is going to be a um, 12 and then I'm going to move on to the smaller um, wefts and cover the rest of the front. And I think I know what I want to do with the front now. So now that I'm in the front, I feel like I can, um, I can maybe part a little bit wider. So I'm going to try to part enough to have some hair out but also um, still be covering as I go. And again, I put mine really close because I'm not braiding. I just feel like I really wanted to like lay down with my natural hair more so than anything. So this is just me parting it. Like 
like so. It's just me parting it. And now you can see with this part, there's a lot more hair out than previously. So that means I'm going to have to do a lot more covering, if that makes sense. But there's a reason I'm doing this section this way. Hopefully it'll hopefully it will work and make sense. So actually I want to put just just a little bit away up up and away. Actually just want to make sure near the front I'm leaving here out but still making enough room for everything else okay so this is going to be the really long one this is going to be the um, the 12 inch that I'm going to put on now and if I seem unsure it's because I'm doing this for the first time wanted this to be realistic for you guys so the 12 inch has five clips so it's going to take me a little second to clip this one on which is why i said i want to make sure this one had you know a little bit more hair out and my hair is really soft and fine so that's why else i didn't like you know comb any hair down or make it more silky because i want the hair to like I want the hair to catch on and to stick to this hair that's in my head. And I'm just, as I'm going along, I'm just clipping, clipping, clipping. And putting that hair up as I go along. It's just soft clipping. And I'm just fluffing as well as I go along. This one is going to bother me, so I'm going to pull a little bit of hair down and try to place it right there. And then just fluffing it out a little bit. The texture of this hair is gorgeous, if we're being honest. It's just gorgeous. So I'm just fluffing some of these out just a little bit more. Okay, so now all we have left are these three, are these four three inches. So these are going to more so be towards the front. And I think I'm going to leave a little bit of hair out in the front so I can do like a little cute um, up ponytail or something. Haven't decided quite yet how I want to do this, but we're going to make it happen. So I think I'm going to do two threes back here and one on each side. So again, I'm going to do just a little bit out, but more than what I was doing in the back. So just a little bit out. And I'm going to take one of the threes out. And they have all the threes hooked together. So I'm going to cut the little weft sign off. And I like that they're all labeled. That makes this so much easier. I'm going to try to put them back in order when I take them out. So I'm just going to put one to the side right here. And my hair is so fine that I kind of have to make sure my hair is fluffed or it won't stick to my hair. So that's the first part of this one put in I'm trying to make sure it sticks okay so this top one is really hard for me with my soft hair to um, adhere to okay I think that's way better okay so now I'm going to put a three right up in here going to put two threes back here actually to kind of give me a little bit of um, fullness so I'm just going to part a little bit 
back here. And it's not that my hair is like rough. It's just like I said, I didn't want to straighten my personal hair out or like make it a different texture because um, I have really soft hair. So I know that um, I kind of need that texture in order for the hair to stick down appropriately. So now that this hair is down, I'm going to cut out two more three inch pieces. And again, y'all, I'm doing this on the whim, creating a style fresh. And I, I can't part. So this is for my girls who can't part, still want to look cute, still want that, you know, that curly texture in your hair. You can still do it. And I'm just going to secure these down one at a time. And you'll know if you need to like repart or if your hair isn't like how that's not clicking in. So I need to part again right there. So I just took my finger to part. And that and you see then it clicked. Then it clicked on both sides. Okay, so then now I only have two more left. So I said I wasn't going to use them all, but I guess I winded up showing myself wrong and using literally almost all of them well actually by the time i put this other one in i'm going to be then use them all so i'm just going to add one more to the back back here i'm going to sit this one literally flesh to the other one okay and just start fluffing that out and of course, this isn't going to be the finished style. I'm going to have to do some stuff to kind of cover the front where I don't have enough clips. But I kind of want it a more full, but like, you'll see what I'm thinking about doing in the front. I want a more full, more natural type of look. So then I'm going to take this comb and part enough to do the same thing on this side with the three. And then I just have to clip it over here. And then I'm just going to unclip the clips. And this clip is a little loose. And that's something too. You'll be able to tell like if a clip needs to be retightened, it, it won't feel snug. Or it'll pop up like how that one's popping up. So I'm going to have to go back through, take it out a little bit. Okay, you guys. So off camera, I wet my hair a little bit. And I put this Love Lotta Body um, curling pudding in my hair. So I'm going to move extremely, extremely fast because my camera keeps dying on me. So I'm going to twist the bottom of this part of my hair, kind of lay it flat a little bit and pull some of that hair back with me. And then I'm going to take this hair on this side and I'm simply going to take a bobby pin, a bigger one and pin this back like so into the hair and let it just go into the hair like so and I was trying to get it somewhat identical to the other side but I don't know if that's going to be possible before my camera dies so then all I'm going to do is take this eco styler gel this is the black caster and flaxseed going to take just a little bit of this put it on my edges and we're going to slick these edges down really quick and this will be the style that I came up with um, yeah I just want to do something kind of simple um, but still like cute very like lazy easy anybody could do it because if I could do it trust me this is a style that you could do and that's what I really like about this so Altra you did a good job because I can just you know kind of lazily do this I don't have to put too much effort into it and just gonna kind of tuck some of that bring some of that hair out blend it in with my hair and tuck it back so this is the completed style that I was able to achieve with the outre for a um, kinky curly big beautiful hair clip ends um, so hopefully you guys like this. You can find it at your local beauty supply because this was gifted. I'm not really sure how much um, it does cost. Um, and while this is, um, while I'm talking to you guys about the hair, I'm just going to 
lay this down really quickly lay these edges down and I'm just gonna hold it because we're in a rush just gonna hold it but yeah it's your girl pretty girl peeps um, I really like this hair it is gorgeous um, it blends very naturally with my 3 C 4 a hair um, again I did have to add some water and some curling product to make that front part blend a little bit better um, I think next time if I was to do anything differently, I may space these just a little bit further apart. So at the front, if I want to leave out more hair and not have to tuck anything back, I can just do it like that. But um, let me know what you guys liked about this style, didn't like about this style in the comments below. Um, all I pretty much, I used all nine pieces. Um, yeah, so this hopefully was a good tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. Uh, thank you so much, Outre, for sending the hair. And I'm going to try to release this. Hopefully these edges and this hair is down. So yeah, this is what it looks like. This is about how long it goes. So you guys can see in the back. That's about how much longer it goes. But yeah, so this is the complete style. I hope you guys liked it. It's your girl, Pretty Girl Peeps. And I'm just going to tuck, because that's going to bother me. So I'm just going to tuck this little piece of my natural hair that's sticking out just going to tuck it just a little bit and then pull that part of the hair down and so yeah it's your girl pretty girl peace make sure you like subscribe comment below and this is the outre big beautiful hair for a kinky curly clip-ins